The 1940s were a time of global conflict and societal change, with the world embroiled in the throes of World War II. Amidst the chaos and hardships, a unique form of photography emerged, providing a respite and a means for military servicemen to capture memories of their time in the service. Arcade photography, specifically military arcade photography, became a popular and cherished way for sailors and other military personnel to preserve their memories and take home tokens of their experiences. This article delves into the rich history of this art form, with a focus on exotic backgrounds such as Diamond Head and the use of props like live hula girls. Arcade photography, not to be confused with modern-day photo booths, gained popularity in the United States during the 1940s. Rather than being coin-operated machines, these photographs were taken by photo studios located in arcades, amusement parks, and boardwalks, where patrons could pose for quick and personalized portraits. This phenomenon gained traction among military servicemen, who began utilizing arcade photography to immortalize their time in the service. As they traveled to distant locations and experienced new cultures, the arcade photographs became cherished mementos that they could send back to loved ones or keep as personal souvenirs. The exotic backgrounds featured in military arcade photographs were a key aspect of their appeal. One of the most iconic and sought-after backdrops was the stunning Diamond Head, a volcanic tuff cone located on the Hawaiian island of Oahu. This breathtaking natural formation, with its lush greenery and picturesque cliffs, provided the perfect backdrop for sailors and military servicemen stationed in Hawaii or passing through en route to other destinations. The awe-inspiring landscape of Diamond Head evoked a sense of adventure and romance, transporting the subjects of these photographs to a world away from the harsh realities of war. Another defining feature of military arcade photography was the use of props, which added a touch of whimsy and excitement to the images. Among the most iconic props were live hula girls, who would pose alongside sailors and servicemen in their shimmery hula girl skirts. These women, adorned with grass skirts and floral lays, brought an air of exoticism and allure to the photographs. The presence of hula girls not only provided a visual representation of the servicemen's travels, but also captured a fleeting moment of joy and camaraderie in the midst of an uncertain world. Beyond the striking backdrops and captivating props, military arcade photography offered a unique opportunity for sailors and military servicemen to share their experiences with those back home. These photographs, often sent as postcards or enclosed in letters, provided a tangible connection between the servicemen and their loved ones. Families could catch a glimpse of their sons, husbands, and brothers in far-off places, and the images served as a reminder of the sacrifices being made by those in the service. Arcade photography of the 1940s, particularly military arcade photography, represents a fascinating and poignant chapter in the history of photography. The images, with their exotic backdrops and their enticing props, encapsulate a unique period in time one defined by global conflict, exploration, and personal sacrifice. Today, these photographs stand as nostalgic tokens of a bygone era, offering a window into the lives of the brave men who served during one of the most tumultuous periods in history.
Much obliged you hopped on board for this snazzy trip through American life in the 1940s and 1950s, all captured through nifty vintage photographs. If this flick's got your motor running, don't be a square. Click on that jolly bucket of bolts to subscribe to the channel for more top drawer content just like this. Thank <laughs> you.